911. My name is Andrew. Do you need police, fire, or EMS? Andrew, I don't know if police or what, but somebody needs to check out the guy at the apartment. What's the address? Uh, I don't want to go out there because he's shooting a gun. He's got a big gun. So do you need police, Hi. fire, or EMS? Um, police. What's going on? Uh, I believe they're, like, trying to get into someone's house, and they're, like, shooting, and it's hitting, like, our wall. Like our, you said some like of the bullets wall. hit the wall? Yeah. Okay. But it's, like, on the street, so we get the bullets, like, fly by. Three eleven. I just heard him rack a gun, but I don't have any visual. But I just heard him racking a gun back here. Copy. All units, make sure you hey. caution to right rack the gun. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Get cover right here. Oh shit. We got shots fired. Shots fired. Timber Ridge. Just before 2 in the morning, SAPD dispatchers received 911 calls about a man shooting guns outside of an apartment at the 6900 block of Timber Creek Drive. The first caller informed dispatch that there was a man shooting a gun outside of an apartment. A second caller informed dispatch that bullets were being fired and hitting their home walls and requested an immediate police response. 911, my name is Andrew. Do you need police, fire, or EMS? Andrew, uh, I don't know if police or what, but somebody needs to check out the guy at the apartment. What's the address? Uh, I don't want to go out there because he's shooting a gun. He's got a big gun. So do you need police, Hi. fire, or EMS? Um, police. What's going on? Uh, I believe they're like trying to get into someone's house and they're like shooting and it's hitting like our wall. Like our, you said some like of the bullets hit the wall? Yeah. Okay. But it's like on the street so we get the bullets like fly by. As officers arrive at the location, one of the officers watched the front door while the second officer moved to the rear of the apartment near the privacy fence and sliding glass door. The officer near the sliding glass door informed the dispatcher that he heard a gun being racked. 311, I just heard him rack a gun, but I don't have any visual, but I just heard him racking a gun back here. This officer and another arriving officer unholstered their weapons and took positions of cover behind vehicles nearby. Multiple gunshots were then heard. Officers were not able to see the suspect due to the privacy fence of the apartment. Oh, shit. We got shots fired. Shots fired. SWAT and hostage negotiator teams were notified and arrived on scene. Here is video from a different officer's body camera at the scene. The suspect continued to fire his weapon from inside the apartment as officers were on scene. Audio of the suspect shooting can be heard in this video. A SWAT officer, who was in an elevated position inside a SWAT armored vehicle, shot at the suspect after observing the suspect point his firearm at the officers from the back patio area behind the privacy fence. Due to inadvertent contact with his duty equipment and or the roof hatch of the vehicle, the SWAT officer's body camera was turned off at the time of the shooting. Here is video from another officer who was inside the SWAT armored vehicle. This video captures the audio at the time of the shooting. The SWAT officer can be heard shooting multiple rounds at the suspect and saying, that was me, he had a gun pointed at us here, and is wearing a helmet. The suspect was struck multiple times by the officer's gunfire. Officers provided first aid to the suspect at the scene prior to EMS arrival. 
The suspect, identified as 43-year-old Jose Vasquez, was transported to a local hospital in stable condition. It was later discovered that Vasquez was wearing a ballistic helmet at the time of the incident.